memo say? Well, Tim, this uh, newly declassified four-page memo raises concerns about certain uh, interactions uh, by the DOJ and FBI with a special surveillance court. Now, a FISA, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act warrant, is really at the heart of this for a Trump administration, or he was a Trump campaign, National Security Advisor Carter Page. Now, in order to surveil Carter Page, the DOJ and FBI had to file a warrant and some people are saying that at the heart of this warrant was something called the Steele dossier. Now, this is really, uh, you know, a document that was opposition research damaging information funded by Democrats as part of their application to get this surveillance. Now, the committee alleges that it was not disclosed where the funding and the source of this dossier came from. So what does this mean now? The people named in this memo, former FBI Director James Comey, former Deputy Attorney General Sally Gates, and at the time, Deputy Andrew McCabe, all no longer are here at the Justice Department or earlier today the president spoke about why he declassified the memo from the White House take a listen I think the I think it's terrible you want to know the truth I think it's a disgrace what's going on in this country I think it's a disgrace the memo was sent to Congress it was declassified Congress will do whatever they're going to do but I think it's a disgrace what's happening in our country and when you look at that and you see that and so many other things, what's going on. Uh, a lot of people should be ashamed of themselves and much worse than that. Now, the only person that's currently still at the DOJ that is named in this memo is Deputy Attorney General uh, Rod Rosenstein, who is the number two there. Uh, if you remember, he is the one that appointed special counsel Robert Mueller. And people are really wondering if this casts a shadow on that whole investigation. Meanwhile, the FBI and Justice Department have a completely different view of this. They say, you know, this is only a small part of that FISA warrant and that a lot more information was used, but they don't want to compromise any classified information to counter some of those memo claims. Tim. SJ Congressman Devin Nunes is the man behind all of this, the chair of that House Intelligence Committee and a close ally of President Trump, but he's been involved in a lot of controversy even before this came out, right? Well, absolutely, Tim. Uh, you know, Nunes actually stepped aside from that House uh, Russia investigation because, you know, he was dealing with an ethics probe about the way he handled classified information. So that really needs to be taken into consideration here. Uh, you know, when you look at this memo in whole, it was written by this person who was excused from this uh, investigation. Meanwhile, he's been really, com you know, conducting his own investigation parallel to the House's investigation. And and that's really where this memo came from. Well, Sending it back to you. And a lot of, uh, if you look at Twitter, how you feel about it really depends on uh, who you. We'll see what happens moving forward. SJ, good to see you. Thank you.